Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 33B question from CBSC Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section D, where each question is of 5 marks. Now, this question is from some applications of trigonometry chapter. A spherical balloon of radius r subtends an angle of 60 degree at the eye of an observer. If the angle of elevation of its center is 45 degree from the same point, then prove that height of the center of the balloon is root 2 times its radius. Now let us try to understand this question by drawing a figure first. Now here we have drawn the figure. Remember that the figure is for one mark for these kind of questions. So make sure you understand how it has been drawn and draw it neatly as much as possible. Now here the blue circle represents the spherical balloon and the radius of this balloon is taken as r. So OB and OC represents the two radii of the circle with center O. Now the radii subtends means it makes an angle of 60 degree at the eye of an observer. So here A is considered as an observer. So the radii makes an angle of 60 degree with the eye of an observer. The next part of the information is if the angle of elevation of its center is 45 degree from the same point means the observer at point A is now looking at the center of the circle of the spherical balloon and when he looks at O, the observer is making an angle of 45 degree with respect to the ground. Now after this information is drawn and understood, we have to prove that the height of the center of the balloon. Now OD represents height of the center of the balloon and we have to prove that it is square root 2 times the radius. So here we have written to prove OD is equal to square root 2 times the radius R. Now let us start with the observer. So we can write let A be the observer and when we are looking at the observer two angles are made. One angle is with respect to the radii of the circle that is angle BAC is 60 degree and angle OAD is 45 degree. Now let us focus on the angle BAC. Now the 60 degree angle can be broken down into 30 degree and 30 degree because we have two right angle triangles over here that is right angle triangle ABO and right angle triangle ACO and these two triangles are absolutely congruent that is by right angle hypotenuse and side because angle B is 90 angle C is 90 the side is same OB is same and OC is same and they have a common hypotenuse that is OA. So by using geometry, we can split the 60 degree as 30 and 30 by RHS congruency. So we have by using geometry, we can write now angle OAC is equal to 1 over 2 times angle BAC. Now remember, you do not have to prove that these two triangles are congruent in this question. You have to just write by using geometry, you can split apart the 60 degree as 30 and 30. So here we have written 1 over 2 times angle BAC was 60 degree. So half of 60 degree is 30 degree. So we have got now angle OAC as 30 degree. Now once we have got this, let us focus on the right angle triangle OAC. Now here we have drawn the same triangle OAC. So OC is R as we can see. Angle C is 90 degree. Now angle OAC is 30 degree as written over here. Now when we are considering this triangle, let us try to find out the length of OA. Because here OA is a common side for the triangle OAC as well as triangle ODA. So this is going to help us to find out OD. That is why we are going to find out OA. It's a common side. Now here, if we consider the angle 30, the side opposite to the 30 degree is OC. So R becomes the opposite side. And here, as mentioned, we need to find OA, which is opposite to the 90 degree, so it becomes the hypotenuse. Since we have to find out the hypotenuse, we have the opposite side and the angle, so we are going to make use of the sine trigonometric ratio. So sine 30 is equal to opposite side, which is OC, over the hypotenuse, which is OA. Now sine 30 is a standard angle, which is 1 over 2. So we have substituted the value over here, sin 30 is 1 over 2 equal to, OC is the radius, so we have written R over OA. Now cross multiplying, that is OA multiplies with 1 and 2 multiplies with R, so we have OA equal to 2R. Now let us consider this as our equation 1. Next, 
Let us come back to this figure and take into consideration the right angle triangle OAD. So I have redrawn over here. So we have the right angle triangle OAD. Now here we have got the value of OA as 2R. So I have written over here and angle OAD was 45 degree. Now we have to find out the height OD. Now here the side opposite to the 45 degree is OD and this is what we need to find out and 2R is the hypotenuse of the given right angle triangle. So we are again going to make use of the sine trigonometric ratio. So sine of 45 degree equal to opposite side which is OD over the hypotenuse which is OA. So here sine 45 is a standard angle which is 1 over square root of 2 equal to OD over OA is 2R. Next let us cross multiply that is 2R multiplies with 1. So we have OD is equal to 2R over root 2. Now here in the denominator we have a square root term. So we are going to rationalize it by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by root 2. So 2R multiplies with root 2. So we have in the numerator 2R root 2 and in the denominator root 2 multiplies with root 2 giving us 2. Now here 2 and 2 divides each other. So we are left with height OD equal to root 2 times the radius. And this is what we had to prove in this given question and we have proved. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.